In America, more than 9% of the population is out of work. Here in Alabama, it's nearly 10%. As the wave of company layoffs continues to sweep across the nation, more and more people are finding themselves in the unemployment line, both figuratively and literally. I'm a software developer. I've been doing software development for about, you know, almost nine years. Brian Cobble is one of them. He's been out of work for four months now and finds the old adage, the hardest job is finding a job, to be completely true. It's a lot of work. You know, it, you really have to hit the ground a lot, network a lot, get out and talk to people and when there's functions around town. And one thing Brian has to do is to make himself stand out in the crowd. A resume is a marketing document, so you're definitely trying to put your uh, best foot forward and you tailor it a little bit to the jobs or the kind of jobs you're trying to get. People are doing more than just tailoring these days. They're flat out lying on their resumes. I typed the words resume fraud in Google and found some interesting stats. Fact, according to one report, a 2001 study of nearly 7,000 resumes found about a quarter of them had at least one instance of misrepresented credentials. Also, a congressional study found a few years ago that one-third of all job applicants faked their resumes or had at least one inaccurate statement. I would say on a daily basis right now. Tiffany Palladino with Precision Resources, an IT consulting and recruiting firm headquartered here in Alabama, says resume fraud was a problem before, but with the increase in unemployment, it's even worse now. I think people are probably, for lack of a better word, more desperate to find employment. And so they do want to stand out. And so they know if they kind of up their skill sets a little and maybe lie a little bit, that it'll help. So what's the most common lie people tell on resumes? Well, in 03, according to a report we found, the Society of Human Resource Managers estimated 23% of the 2.6 million people surveyed fabricated credentials. 41% lied about their education. 44% lied about their experience. Now, when it comes to lying about your previous work experience, the number one thing people typically fabricate is their salaries. Right after that is their job title, and then their amount of experience. A lot, a lot. Sheila Benson knows all too well about resume fraud. She's the CEO of Employment Screening Services. They actually investigate potential employees for companies. She says she's seen all sorts of tactics to stretch the truth. They may be um, working for a temp company and saying that they actually work for a specific company rather than the temp company. And beyond the outright lies, gaps in work history, a lie of omission, if you will, are big too. Example, an applicant will say they've been with an employer for five years when in fact they've only worked there for two years. The missing three years may cover up a criminal conviction or a job where that applicant got fired. Benson says many companies hire her to do only criminal background checks and not necessarily work history checks. I think that's a true mistake. Um, I think it's extremely important to check those, especially the past um, references and, and, and past educational. You can't argue we all want to make ourselves more marketable, and there is a way to do that without crossing the line. Tiffany tells us how. Focusing more on your accomplishments, and really, um, I guess, energizing your description of what you do instead of being vague about your job, really putting some power into it. Here are some other resume boosting tips. Portray achievements. Don't just describe your job responsibilities. Give references. Tell people what's unique about you. Personal branding. If you have a blog or Twitter profile, you can always mention those on your resume. Dump the objective. Instead, start your resume with how your skills can actually add value to the organization that recruits you. Also, portray to employers how you approach your job. And describe your personality. That's what Brian is doing as he works to find work. I try to show that in the resume and the cover letter. What makes me stand out. When it comes to lying about education, that is a biggie. In fact, the FBI estimates that about a half a million people in the United States actually lie about having a college degree. In fact, if you go online, you can find those diploma mills and they can sell you an online degree for as low as 425 bucks for a bachelor's and 500 for a master's. By the way, this type of fraud, occupational fraud and abuse cost organizations about $600 billion every year. Rod Carter, NBC 13, HD News.